In this video, we'll be covering five agility drills that will help you improve your pickleball footwork. After all, pickleball is a game of quick movements, and having fast and precise footwork will greatly improve your pickleball chances of winning. And I like winning. I like it so much. So let's get started right now. Are you putting me on YouTube? Maybe, maybe, maybe. These drills will help you build your agility, give you a major advantage on the court. That's five of them, so let's get started right now. The agility ladder is a great way to learn about movement. How can we move more efficiently, right? If we're approaching the kitchen, one foot in front of the other, we're not all like that, right? One foot, next foot, right? One box, we're not running. It's really deliberate. Because we know in pickleball, our opponents are going at our feet, right? So why run? So try to get down a little lower and it'll help you build more thigh muscle as well. And if they hit at our feet, we're nice and low. When you're doing the ladder shuffle, be careful not to build too much momentum. Because when I hit the third shot drop in pickleball and I'm approaching the net, I don't want to run, right? Because it's going to be right at my feet. So think about it when you're on the ladder. One more thing, try to keep your hands out here when you're doing the ladder. Don't keep them down at your side. The three pillars of balance in pickleball, one hand, this hand, and I'm looking at you. Those are the three pillars of balance. So when we're doing these agility drills, we're really practicing for real life pickleball. Another great drill if you have three cones is this. And we're working on movement and we're basically lunging from cone to cone sideways, right? And it's a very good movement. We can switch it up. Again, just like the ladder, we're not crossing our feet, right? We can reset, we can dink, and we can simulate that. What I would tell you, when we're doing this, really try to simulate dinking, try to simulate resetting, really get intense with that movement. I was doing this drill with the cone shuffle, and then I thought of resetting. You can even think of dinking, but if you can incorporate some real life images of pickleball when you're working out, it's gonna help you, it really is. Moving side to side is so important in pickleball, right? And we can take longer steps if needed, like the pros do, but we don't cross our feet, right? We don't wanna cross our feet in pickleball. So when you're doing the agility ladder, really one foot, the other, one foot, other, one foot, other, one foot, other. Are you faster with a smaller or bigger stride? What do you feel more comfortable with? By doing this drill, you will get quicker because you'll find what you are most comfortable with with like if we're dinking at the kitchen right side to side and if we want to build speed the agility ladder is where it's at with those fast twitch muscles in our legs also we can really work on our balance as we move quicker right another great drill if you have these cones is this so we're in the middle of the square and we're really trying to move to each cone with the least number of steps right we're staying low we're staying dynamic we can really do whatever we want. Look, I know you pretty well. Why are we really doing these drills? So we can build muscle memory, so we can get quicker, so we can get in a tournament and not think about movement because we know it's in our muscle memory, right? We don't have to think about it. I would so recommend the box drill because it's so intuitive. I just picked it up really quick. That was actually the first time I actually ever really did that. And I really liked it because I could be more deliberate with my actions opposed to running because I don't want to run in pickleball. Jumping rope is a great way to improve agility. It really is. Plus, if we get to a tournament and don't have enough time to warm up, jumping rope is so good. How about jumping on one leg for 30 seconds, then switching to the other for 30 seconds? This will help build agility and help balance as well. Can you do one leg? One leg? Other leg, can you switch? Wow. Can you do a double jump? Yeah. Let's see it. Wow. What else can you do? Cross. Let's see it. Wow, he's crossing like that. What else? I like it. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. That's awesome. 
Jumping rope is a classic exercise, right? And it never gets old. It's always worth doing, especially for pickleball. Try going on one foot, try going on the other. Work on your balance when you're jump roping because balance is so important in pickleball. And if we're in a fast hands battle, we're really moving around a lot. So balance is so important. It really is. So these drills are great for pickleball players of all ages. You can always make the drills tougher. That's what I did with the resets and you can keep implementing things to build muscle memory. Pickleball lovers, take a look at that video. It was so good. But first, let me ask you a question. Will you try these agility drills? Do you think it'll help you at pickleball? I really think it will. And I'm kind of just trying to get you to click right there. And pickleball lovers, don't forget to have a good day. <laughs>